you know that Tom Brady became one of only four quarterbacks in NFL history to beat every NFL team? Still hate him. You can't hate Tom Brady. No, I do. Why? He's the greatest quarterback of all time. It's true. So why do you hate him? Because the vet. <laughs>
अब ये छह घंटे ये जो है चलता रहेगा जलता रहेगा ऐसी गर्मी से जो है अंदर ये जितने पीसेस हमारे सब वाइट हो जाएंगे and then puts all the parts together to create the shape of a lamp. Wow. Some designs call for different tools, like this one. The artisans hand make it themselves. फिर उसमें दाने काटते हैं फिर धार लगाते हैं फिर एक लकड़ी का वो होता है बेटी उसमें टोक करके फिर वो जाकर औजार तैयार होता है और उससे जाने लगती है अखिल इज वन ऑफ जलालुद्दीन थ्री सन्स ही इज हैंड कार्विंग होल्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ वुडन एंड समझ लीजिए बोन कार्विंग का काम करने के लिए ये बहुत मेन चीज है ये ना हो तो बोन कार्विंग काम बहुत होना मुश्किल हो जाएगा बिकॉज़ इस पे ही सारे हाथ वाले काम होते हैं कि The block keeps the piece in place while workers carve. They used to fix the wooden blocks into the ground, but over time they started using a stone to weigh down the block instead. अगर आप मिट्टी में ये चीज डालते हो लकड़ी को तो उसको कहीं ले नहीं जा सकते हो अब इसको क्या आप कहीं भी उठा के ले जा सकते हो Akhil learned the craft at 14 years old and won a state award at 18. But he wasn't always excited about the job. पहले तो हमें लगता था कि बहुत मेहनत है कि पावर लोग को देखते हैं सुबह छह बजे तक काम करना शुरू कर देते रात से एक बजे तक काम ही क्या करते थे Now, he sees potential in it. ये ऐसा कोई एंड नहीं है आप कुछ भी बना सकते हो दिमाग चलाते रहे इम्प्रूवमेंट करते रहे तो कुछ भी बनाते नहीं है कुछ भी बनाते रहे तो और मजा आता है करने में अखिल ये सब मैं हाथ से ड्राइंग करता हूँ कोई मेरे पास खाता नहीं है कोई मेरे पास फरमा नहीं है ये सब एक दूसरे से मोशन बना हुआ एक दूसरे को देख रहे हैं Royals commissioned artisans to carve ivory to their liking. But when the ivory trade was banned in the 1990s, carving bones from camels or buffaloes became a legal and cheaper alternative. The Akhtar family says their business peaked during the early 2000s with support from the government. Jalaluddin won a national award in 2012. And a couple of years later, the government sent him to Brazil to show off his work. तो वहाँ पे जो है बहुत अच्छा है यानी यहाँ से बहुत अच्छे बैठे वहाँ पे कि जो चीज हम यहाँ बीस रुपए में बेचते थे तो वो चीज वहाँ चार सौ रुपए में खरीद रहे थे लोग शौक थे बट सुन आफ्टर दर सेड विद्यू एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन फंडिंग श्रॉक एंड बिजनेस फिर उस काल में सरकार जब बंदी भी धीरे धीरे वो फिर वो गिरता चला गया आज वो दौर हो गया है कि अब समझिए तीस परसेंट काम बचा है Then in 2017, the government put restrictions on slaughterhouses and forced many of them to shut their doors, cutting off artists' bone supply. कम से कम यहाँ पे पांच से छह कारखाने थे, अब वो धीरे-धीरे करके एक कारखाना बचा, बाकी सब खत्म हो गए. The raw materials became too expensive for such a small market. Some artisans went abroad for better work, and others didn't pass on the craft within their families. अब धीरे-धीरे तो ये लगता है. आगे चल करके दस बीस बीस साल के बाद क्या होने वाला है तो पता नहीं है टुडे द अक्टर फैमिली टीचर्स वर्कशॉप्स टू पीपल इन द कम्युनिटी ऊपर नहीं जा रहा नीचे इट्स पार्ट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट्स इनिशिएटिव टू सेव द आर्ट इट पेस फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स टू अटेंड द क्लासेस एंड फॉर द अक्टर्स टू टीच देम बोन कार्विंग अगर आज थोड़ा बहुत बची हुई तो इसमें सरकार का बहुत योगदान है अगर सरकार ने जरा भी इंटरेस्ट ना लिया होता तो शायद बोन कार्विंग खत्म हो गई होती And while the pandemic has slowed down classes and regular business, it's also given the Akhtars time to develop new designs, like this lamp. It sells for around twelve thousand Indian rupees, or two hundred dollars. So beautiful! Wow. They export most of their products to foreign customers. Two hundred dollars? It should be thousands. This is one of their most rare and expensive pieces. It's a perfume holder made from camel bone. 
They wow. crafted it 30 years ago. Wow. And just recently sold it for $1,200 to an art collector. That's Akel is hoping to start selling their work through social media. And the actors don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Wow. Yeah, that's that's super awesome and sad. Yeah. Um, that the that there was so many, and now there's your show. Also, you kind of understand. Obviously, we definitely don't want them to be doing anything on ivory. No, that is a plague that is still haunting our w world. Yes. Uh, Agreed. Sadly. Awful. Um, but for like for uh, like, butchers and to use old. Yeah, if you're going to use ox or cow, old cow or, bones or, 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 or camel, which is a very, especially in the Middle East, camel is a very popular food. Uh, I don't know if they can use goat bones. They may be too small and brittle. But or human. We to, have too many of those. <laughs> to, use, to use all of that and let the, the fragments be used as fertilizer, it, it, that's the way it should be done. It should be used for that. Like I, I remember when I was on safari in Africa, one of the things we saw was this, uh, the remains of a, a dead giraffe, long, long gone. It was just the bones. And he said, this giraffe died of natural causes. Just old giraffe laid down, died. The hyenas came, chewed off the meat. When they were done, the vultures came, picked off what was left. When they were done, the bugs came, picked up what was left. And what's left is gonna just slowly become the fertilizer for the soil and will be very lush for the animal diet. So that, taking these things that are happening as part of the natural process and creating beautiful works of art for it, I really hope this is, you share it, share it, share it, because there's people who have the <laughs> money and the wherewithal in the West, especially, I, I, to support them. I promise you, if those things were being made and sold here, $200 is, I don't even know how you could get away with selling that for $200, US dollars. Yeah. Because that should go for literally thousands. Yeah, the rarity of that. If that was sold here and, and someone was selling it in Los Angeles, that lamp would have easily been eight hundred dollars. Easily been an eight hundred and that perfume case would have been five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars. Yeah. At least. At minimum. I mean it's thirty years old, so it probably would have been more on the fifteen thousand. Yeah, you can find the correct oh. people for it. So I think it's smart of them to start using social media. Absolutely. Because if you get some of your stuff to go viral, you get more people interested in, in yeah. getting some unique pieces. Yeah. Um, that was cool. Yeah, that was really cool. These, uh, these informational videos are oh, so great. So good. Smart. Let us know more uh, videos like this and other informational videos. We always enjoy these ones down below. Josh!